Hey, ladies, gentlemen, good evening. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are we doing tonight? Good to see you. What's up? What's up? What's up, Jilma? Sorry, teacher, I am not listening. Listen. You, you can't listen? You can't listen? Can yes, you listen to yes, me? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Great, great, great. Good evening. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are things? How are things? Good, good. <laughs> things are good? Yes, and you? Ah, uh, well, a little, a little um, nervous that, you know, we finish module tomorrow. We have only today and tomorrow and we finish this module. So it's, I was like thinking about it and it's been a good experience, this module with you. To be with this module with you, it's been a good experience. I enjoy every day. Um, Did you have a good day? Um, yes, I have a good day. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Gilma, what's your question? ¿Cómo se dice más o menos en inglés? So or less. You can so say so more so or less. So oh, you can say so-so. You can say more or less. More or less. Really? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. What about you, Jaime? Huh? Anything to say? Any comment? I... My day is very good, teacher. <laughs> really? Why is that? Well, in my job, ever I, I have very good. <laughs> I am very good. <laughs> oh, you're very good at. What do you do, Jaime? What do you do? Oh, pues, um, my job is um, I work in the Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh, and, yes. yes. Okay. My function is a tax auditor. Yes. So you work with numbers and calculators and stuff like that? <laughs> Thank wow. you, teacher. Oh, wow. That's good. That's interesting. How do you like it? Okay, what's up, Mr. Noah? How are you doing tonight? Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, Hi teacher, um, this day is uh, reading about more uh, about money and money. Laundry yes, money laundering love. So you are reading like what are you reading? Are you reading a book? Are you reading surfing the internet? Love, love is a new new institute the fiscalia. So you're no. getting to know more. No, estoy leyendo sobre la ley de lavado de dinero que se está poniendo. Es un... Money laundry. Money? Money laundry. Money laundry. Uh -huh. Money laundry. Oh. Sobre la ley de lavado de dinero que están las, estamos aplicando las empresas. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay. All right, that's uh, good. I have a question. Yes, sir, go ahead. Uh, would you continue teaching the class in the other model, you know? Like, like, uh, what do you mean? Like with you, with you guys, with this class? Yes. I don't think so. Do you know? No, do you I don't know? think so. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh -huh. It's not really uh -huh. possible because there's always rotations. There's always rotations. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. You never have, you never had the same teacher, right? Back to back. Or yeah. Do you have the same teacher in the previous modules, like back to back? No, teacher. No, right? They they always no, no. rotate no. teachers, right? No. So no, no. yeah, no. they will rotate. Me, you will have a new teacher. No worries. Okay, teacher. All right. Only question. No worries. No worries. Welcome to the class. Welcome to classes. How are you doing? Tell me about your day. Tell me something new, something I don't know. What's going on? Hello, Maria. Talk to me. 
or you can't? Hi, teacher. Are you at work? How are you? Yes. I'm doing great. I'm doing fabulous. Thank you for asking. And yourself? Why? I eat them. You're eating right now? Yes. Oh, what are you eating? Um, chicken fried with rice. Rice fried rice. chicken and rice. Uh -huh. Yes. Fried chicken and rice. Bon appetite. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. All right. Uh, what about Mercy Viera? Hello, lady. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are things? Fine. Fine. I have a good day. Good, oh, really? good day. You had a good day? Yes. I think so. It's okay. What is special about your day? Mm, this day, I I need to make a presentation and I need to make a translation to English, and <laughs> it's interesting for me in my in my job. Yes. <gasps> nice in your job. So you actually uh, study English also because it's it's a requirement. You need it for your job. Is correct? Yes, in my boss, in my in my job is a uh, an obligation. All the people speak English very well, and only me no don't speak English. And I need to to talk because my my grand boss, I don't know me. Your headquarters. Uh, your headquarters. Uh, my headquarters is to the demanding. United States demanding. Yeah. Uh, and she, they are gringos. <laughs> they are Americans. Yeah. <laughs> they are Americans. <laughs> hey, yes. But you said, I am the only one who don't speak English. And you're speaking English? You're speaking in English no, right now. Teacher. What no, teacher. No, because is this? it's different. They speak different for me. I don't understand and understands mm. your pronunciation and and I have a uh, many miedo to speak fears to speak English me <laughs> yes that's very contradictory because you are talking to me in English right now um, <laughs> but yeah what you're saying I understand uh, what you're saying is that you know your boss and and in your company they have like a higher like a higher English level than you Right. So you need to you want to increase your English level uh, so you can understand. Right. And, and you can be uh, you can join any conversation, uh, you know, and, 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 and speak with them as normal. So you will. You will, Miss Mercy. You will. You're very constant. You're very intelligent, very capable, like like anyone else in this class. So I think it's a matter of time, you know, constancy. Yes. Constancy is, is is a key factor. So you're going to pass this module, you're going to go to next module, and you're going to learn and absorb so much information, so much vocabulary that's going to make you speak fluently and, and naturally. So little by little, step by step. Thank you, teacher. Absolutely. Let's go with um, Susana Caroline Paula. Hello, young lady. How are things Hello, with you? Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm watching TV with my mother. Okay, turn off the TV because you are mine right now. Yeah, you. Yes, I need yes. your attention <laughs> only for me. <laughs> yes, teacher. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, you know. Uh, how are you? Are you okay? So you're watching TV with your mom? Your mom is there? Do you have any brothers or sisters? No. No, I don't have a, I don't have brother and sister. So you are like an only child? Yes, teacher. Is it good? Do you like it? Um, not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, huh? You have all the attention, all the presents for you. Eh, yes, es que no, no es tan bueno ni tan malo porque a veces necesita compañía. 
Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Sometimes you need company. No, but you know, that's why you can have friends, right? Yes. Okay, Susana. That's great. Do you do you work or study, Susana? I study. Okay, great. I study in university. Nice. What's your career? Uh, I'm business administration. Nice. Business administrator. Yeah. That's cool. Really cool. Welcome to class, Miss Azucena Castro. How are you and your cats doing over there? Good evening, teacher. Uh, happy Teacher's Day. <laughs> uh, my cats <laughs> are good. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Susana. How are you? You ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, awesome. Okay, guys, is um, time is important, so I cannot continue saying hello. So let me say hello, everyone. So we can start with your class. Today, we're going to practice infinitive compliments. Infinitive compliments. What comes to your mind when we use infinitive compliments? We're going to use one uh, module verb. Uh, the module verb we're going to continue using is going to be should, right? And um, also, um, you're going to give recommendations. So if you have access to Google, that's good because I need you to get me information, right? Because we are not doctors. You are not a doctor, so we're going to try to give suggestion and advice. Okay, let me share the screen a little bit so you can visualize what I'm expecting from you. And this is what we're going to practice and this is what I'm, what I'm going to expect from you. Need to move this to the other screen. Okay, so as you see, we have right there the screen showing infinitive compliments that we're going to reinforce today. Okay, let me show this right here. There you go. Oops. One second, please. This is not working. Give me one second. All right, there you go. Okay, so what should I do for a cold? I want you to use it's important to, and you give the advice. It's sometimes helpful to, and you give the advice, right? Or it's a good idea to, and you give advice. Normally when you give advice, you can use get, you can use eat, or you can use take. Those are the most common uh, verbs for recommendations or advice, all right? So very simple, very simple. I'm going to um, ask you for advice and then you will continue. Remember these are role plays. These are role plays. We cannot repeat. We cannot repeat a health problem. Okay. We cannot repeat a health problem. Okay. Let's start. My classmate or my selection is gonna be Mercy. Okay. I'm gonna practice with Mercy, guys. Everyone, pay attention because I am. I'm going to expect the same role play from each of you. Okay. So. Starting from greeting. Hi, Mercy. Good evening. Hi, How teacher. Good evening. Fine. Thank you. And you? Very happy. Today is my day. Oh, yes. Happy. <laughs> happy to year. Happy today. <laughs> happy teachers. Happy teachers. Happy teachers. Day. Yes. You have many, you have many um, gift, gift regalos? Uh, gifts. Um, well, yes. Yes, because a gift. Is is it can be something simple like like a message, like a congratulations, 
So I have many gifts. Thank you so much. Virtual. I have a lot of virtual, virtual gifts. <laughs> okay. okay. I have a question for you, Mercy. Okay. I Give have me. a I have a terrible headache. What should oh. I do? What should I do for a headache? Um, um you should go to the doctor because it's important to um check uh your healthy your health my health okay your health thank you i will all right thank you okay see Bye. you next time very good very good so messi said you should go to the doctor is correct you should go no <laughs> Is that what you said? You should, you should to go. No. Okay. You should go. You, you should, should go. go. Remember that after the modal verb, you use the base verb, no infinity. So the preposition to is okay. not necessary. Uh -huh. So you said you should go. Okay. Okay. Um, si hubiéramos usado una de estas. It's, it's important. important to go a doctor. Yes, it's important to go to the doctor. Yes, it's important to go to it's the doctor. Important to go to the doctor. I, I want you to use me these ones, okay? I want you to use me. It's important. It's sometimes helpful. Repeat, it's sometimes helpful. It's sometimes helpful. Helpful. Everybody, helpful. Help. Helpful. 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 It's important. Helpful. It's sometimes helpful. It's a it's good idea. It's important to helpful. It's a good it's a idea. Good idea. It's a good idea. idea. Try to try to connect these introductions with your advice. For example, it's a good idea to get some rest. Yes? It's a good idea to get some rest yes it's sometimes helpful to eat chicken soup yes it's sometimes helpful to take some vitamin c okay okay so let me go with the role plays this is what i expect let me try with Susana, okay, let me see, Hector, okay, Azucena, hello, Azucena, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I can hear you, repeat, I can hear you. I can't hear, I you. Can't hear you. Hi, how are you, Azucena? I'm fine. And um, you, how are you? Not so good. Not so good. So why? Good question. Um, well, I have a stomach ache. What should I do? What should I do for a stomach ache, Azucena? Uh, you should uh, take a pill, uh, Pepto Bismol. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. I will. Okay. Um, how do you say recuperate pronto? I hope you recuperate soon. I hope you recuperate. I hope you recuperate. Recuperate. Soon. I hope you recuperate soon. Oh, puede decir más fácil. I hope you get better. I hope you get better soon. I, I hope you get better. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, you use should. Me usaste should. Está bien. Podemos tratar de usar estos infinitive complements. Como, it's sometimes helpful to take a hot shower, for example. Right? So, Azucena, all right? You make 
the okay. role play, okay? With, let me go with Jaime, yes? Azucena and Jaime. You have a, you have a health problem, okay, Azucena? And okay. Jaime gives you advice. Jaime, you need to use an infinitive okay. complement, okay? Okay, teacher. Action, let's go. Hello, Jaime. Hello, Azucena. How are you? May I help you? Uh, uh, yes, I'm not good. Um, I have a, a hell ship. Health, health. You, you have a headache? Yes, headache. Oh, my God. It's important to get a lot of rest. Oh, okay. Thank you for your recommendation. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Good job. I like it. Repeat, guys. Headache. Creo que nos está dando problemas esta Headache. 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 No, no lleva, no lleva sonido H ahí. O sea, sí se ve, pero nada que ver. El, la pronunciación es ache. 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 Y ache significa dolor. Ok. Si yo digo stomach, estómago, stomach cake, stomach cake, ah. ok, back, espalda, back cake. So, back, back, bueno, vamos a repetir, no vamos a repetir ya headache and stomach cake, ok. Let's continue, Jaime, choose one classmate. Let's go. Now you have a health problem, ok. Oh, ok. Hello, Noé. How are you? Hello, Jaime. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oh, no, very good. Uh, Why? Uh, what to I do for a back backache? Oh my God! Uh, you should drink. Um, you should. Uh, Go to work. You should uh, go to work gym for practice exercise and relax. Okay, no, no. Um, I... Also, uh, you can uh, relaxing your vacation. You. Thank, thank you, Noe. I, I put in practice your recommendation. Please, please. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Okay, in la parte donde um, decimos, I am not feeling well. Repeat, I am not feeling I am well. Not feeling Everybody, well. I am not feeling well. I am not feeling well. I am not feeling well. Ok. Well. ¿Qué pregunta cabe ahí? Puedo decir, what's the matter? Repeat, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? matter. What's the matter? matter? What's the matter? matter? The matter. Es como, it's on the chat, sweetie. Es como, ¿qué hay de malo? ¿Qué está mal? Right? Okay. También podemos decir, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Podemos decir, what's you can wrong? say, what's the matter? Repeat, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I'm not feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Yes? Oh, I have a fever. I have a um, backache, etc. Okay, Noe, it's your turn. Ahora. Teacher. Go ahead. Or, or say 
what happened what happened yes what happened what happens what happened what happened yes go ahead noe choose a classmate to practice with bien teacher con jaime siempre no 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 a different classmate You have a health problem, yes. You need a recommendation. Who do you want the recommendation from? Okay. One classmate. Okay. Uh, hi, Gilma, uh, Elizabeth, how are you? Hi, um, but I can't know. Ah. No. Hi. Thanks. Hi, Mr. Noe. How are you? Um, a little um bad because I have a uh, stomach pain every day. Oh wow. Um. Use the imperative, use the infinitive complement. And you want to the doctor? It's important. Jilma, it's important. It's to it's see. Important. It's, ah, okay. It's important. Uh, do you go to the doctor? It's important to go to the doctor. Repeat. It's important to go to the doctor. Hey, Jim, thank you for your advice. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I will, right, Noe? I will. I will visit the doctor. Awesome. Thank you for your recommendation. OK. Uh, nice to uh, meet you. Thank you follow better. Think, okay. hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. Oh, hope you feel, uh, hope better. you feel better. Hope you recover. Que bonita esa frase. Hope, I hope, I hope you, I hope you feel better. Or I hope you recover. Como dijo usted, mis recuperarse, verdad? Eh, I hope you feel better. I hope you recover. Al final podemos agregar soon, ¿verdad? Pronto. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you recover soon. Okay? Jilma, it's your turn to expose a health problem. Choose a classmate, please. Hi, Rodolfo. Hi, Rodolfo. Hi, Rodolf, remember that we're using infinitive complements. That's what I want you to use right now, infinitive complements. Okay, choose a different classmate, Gilma. Um, Jose Leonardo? Leo? Can you hear me? No. <laughs> Carla Merino. Okay, good night. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are you? I am excellent. What about you? Oh, um, not very good. What is the problem? Mm, thing. Um. I have I no more no more headache no more stomachache. No, I have a little headache. A what? Insomnia. Insomnia. I have a little headache. Un poco me duele un poco la cabeza. No, no more headache, no more stomachache. A different one. A different one. <laughs> I have a little back. A what? Uh -huh. 
Okay. Back cake. Back. What guess, happened with the health really problem? What happened with the health problems, huh? Well, really, um, I'm sorry. Um, I recommend you. It's important you take a rest and sometimes it's helpful to applique a mental cream in your back. Oh. And I think it's a good idea you... It's a good idea. You, it's a good idea you rest or maybe you uh, sleep in the floor, I think. Oh, thanks, Carla. Wow. For you. I hope you recuperate soon. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Welcome. Okay. Thank you for the participation, ladies and gentlemen. Nice job. Um, remember to use your um, knowledge as much as possible. Okay. We're going to move with the second topic tonight. It's time to change topics. Okay. So we're going to practice this. Let me see. I want to explain you something. Tomorrow is our final day. Yes. Tomorrow yes. is our final day. Are you happy? Yes. Or no? No, yes. no, no happy. <laughs> Why not? Tomorrow is your graduation. No, because there, there are other teachers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me chat this information for you. These are your two competences uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're going to have an oral evaluation. Okay, and I want you to comply and show that you're able to do this. Number one is make a plan. Make a plan. What is the plan? I don't know. Watch a movie, go to the park, study together. Be as creative as possible. Okay, and what do I want you to use? I want you to use present continuous for the future or be going to. Do you have any question? Only a make a plan. Whatever plan. Whatever plan you can think of. Prepare your plan. Prepare your plan because tomorrow you will come like this. For example, for example, Teacher Kalev, right? Teacher Kalev's turn. Um, hi, Carla. Um, can you hear me, Carla? Yes, teacher. Hey, I Carla. You. Are, you doing, are you doing anything on Saturday? Would you like to mm. would you like to go to the cinema and uh, watch uh, Jurassic World the movie? Yes, yes, I would like to watch the movie because the last Saturday I couldn't go because it was raining. Neither could I. What a coincidence. Um, what about Saturday at I don't know. Um, Let's say Cinemark um, at 7 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. All right. See you there. Bye. Simple I see you. That. Simple as that. Remember, you need to make the question like, are you doing anything, right? Or, or what are you going to do? I don't know. You have to use present continuous or be going to and you need to give that, the invitation in that plan in that plan i will work with other person 
Mm. It's like a role play, no? It's like a role play, but it's going to be like kind of surprise role play. Porque usted solo va a escoger a un compañero que le va a ayudar. Usted sabe quién escogería, right? Y le damos. Okay. All right? Okay. So it's a little improvised, pero su parte sí tiene que prepararla. Your part, you have to prepare it. You need one more example, guys? Do you need one more example? Yes. I need yes. an example for take a message. Ahorita vamos, mis. Ahorita vamos. Take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> okay, pero vamos con uh, make a plan first. Make a plan first. Okay, I'm going to do it with. Let me see. Se me fue esto que tenía aquí. One second. One second. Okay, let me do it with Juan Linares. Can you hear me, Juan? Yes, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. How about you? I'm great, man. It's Teacher's Day. It's my day. I'm so happy. Okay, congratulations. Hey, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hey, um, one question for you, um, Juan. What are you going to do on Sunday afternoon. Um, do you want to, do you want to um, go to a concert? Yes, uh, I will go to a concert on Friday. It's actually Sunday, okay? It's a uh, Carol G's concert. So let's meet at, let's meet, let's meet at Cuscatlan Stadium at 5 p.m. on Sunday. Is that okay? Yes, I, I, will, I will go to the concert on on Monday. Okay, perfect. I'll see you there. Bye bye. Okay, bye. okay. Bien, el, el audio se te fue un poquito, right? Pero, yeah, we, we could set it up. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting like a really big conversation. Creo que cuando nos tocó esa clase. Okay, cuando nos tocó esa clase, eh, unos me lo pudieron lograr, otros se me iban con que nunca me decían el, el plan, right? Entonces ahí estaban having like a long conversation, pero al final la invitación never happened, right? So, ahora sí, you need to show it to me because it's important that you make a plan. Uh, let me see, I want to show you this so you can have a better idea. Let me just refresh here this screen a little bit. Will stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Okay, you, you can use this, right? You can use these to have an idea, right? Exercise three. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Yeah, present continuous. Hey, what are you doing on Saturday? Yes. Hey, what are you doing next week? What are you doing? Yes, and you put the expression like time expression tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week, next Sunday. What are you doing? Yeah. Or, right, what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you, what are you, what are you going to do tomorrow? Okay? That's the opening. Let's go to, uh, invitation. let's go to a restaurant. Uh, would you like to go to a discotheque? Any, any plan, okay? The beach? Yes? Okay. All right, all right. Yes. All right. Now, now the next topic is take a message, right? Take a message. What do you need? I need you to use. I need you to use ask and tell. 
okay? Ask and tell. So pretty much you're going to make a phone call. It's gonna be a phone call, yes? And you're going to ask for other person. Like, I'm going to call Carla? Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna ask for Mercy, right? So Carla will say, I'm sorry, but Mercy is not in. Right? And then we proceed with the message, which is this part. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be said as many times as possible. Wait, it's not this. Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the example, right? Yeah, conversation yeah. example. Check it out. As many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Ms. No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this 555-4031? 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, so you see, it's like a phone call, right? You give the name of the company, whatever company you want to say, invent, right? And you say hello, right? You introduce yourself, right? Let's do an example. Let's make an example, yeah? Let's make an example. Volunteer, do we have any volunteer for an example? No volunteers? Do we have victims? All right. Sir. Who? Noe. Okay, Noe. Yes, I am. You want to be the secretary or do you want to be the caller? Uh, what is caller, teacher? El, el llamante, el que, el que llama. Ah, okay. Caller. Yeah, el llamante. Caller. Caller. You're the I caller? Call okay, it. I'm the secretary. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. Good morning, Parker Industries. Good morning. And uh, as a, would you tell her saying email? No, no, no. Empecemos de nuevo, teacher. Yes, yes, because you have to say, con quien quiere hablar, right? May I speak sí, sí. to Mercy, por ejemplo, right? Yeah. Ready? Good morning, um, Inglés Corporativo. Uh, good morning, teacher Kales. Uh, I can I can uh, um, speak with uh, Juan Linares. I'm sorry, he's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. Uh, uh, can you tell her? Uh, tell saying, him. Tell her. Um, saying email for please. Okay, to send you the email. Okay, and what's your name? Stini M O E V B I arroba como dice doc vea at 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 Q U C punto what is your name? Noe. Is that N O E? N O E. Okay. Okay. And what's your phone number? Uh, it's seven seven four eight four five six. Seven seven four eight four five six. correct yes okay no worries i will give mr juan the message okay okay thank you no problem we're Bye. gonna do another try we're gonna do another try who wants to do another try it shouldn't be that complicated right you have to follow you have to follow the conversation pretty much it's very easy
tiene que ver como que una introduction, tiene que ver como un uh, spelling, tiene que haber like a phone number, something like that, and the message. Jaime, you want to try? No, teacher. Me? You want to try? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. You want to be the secretary or the caller? Uh, the the co color. The color. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, ready? Okay. Let's go. I read. I read. Good morning, Inglés Corporativo. Hello. May I speak to Mrs. Carla Merino? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is uh, Mrs. Jaime. Mr. Jaime? Mr. Mr. Oh, sorry, Mr. Jaime. Is that J A M E? Yes, it's J A M E. I'm sorry, it's J A I M E. Right? Oh, so, sorry, yes. Okay. It's okay. Okay, and what is the message? Please uh, tell her our meeting on meeting is on Sunday at uh, eleven a.m. Okay, the meeting is on Sunday at eleven a.m. Okay. Okay. And could you ask her to call me? Uh, this uh, after that class, please. My number is uh, seven three thirty nine uh, seven five zero zero seven three three zero nine seven five zero. Yes. Yes, okay, please. no problem. I will give Miss Carla Marino your message. Thank you. Goodbye. Nice job. Nice job. So that's kind of what I'm expecting, right? That's kind of what I'm expecting. Uh, do you have any question? Aunque en el celular me equivoqué, teacher. No, no worries. <laughs> También en el nombre, pero acuérdese que ahorita es como que como que el, el, el machote, vea, right? Entonces, listos ahí a ver qué, qué nombre van a, a deletrear, qué nombre, qué número van a dar, porque tiene que make sense, tiene que dar sentido, right? Um, ustedes verán, eh, la cosa es que el día de mañana, bueno, siempre prácticamente los protagonistas son ustedes, right? Los que tienen que brillar son ustedes, entonces... Um, el día de mañana nos vamos de entrada con los role plays, guys, porque la hora le tenemos que sacar todo el provecho posible. Así que ya saben, tenemos dos role plays el día de mañana que son evaluated. Eh, no se puede decirle al compañero, mira, este, yo a vos te voy a llamar. No, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser random, tiene que ser así, este, al azar, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos que estar todos concentrados, eh, salirnos de la, del comfort zone. ¿Verdad? Porque de repente le toca a Noé, Noé va a escoger a, a Héctor, right? Eh, Rodolfo va a escoger a Gilma y así pues, tiene que ser um, fluent. Ok, you have any question o alguien más quiere hacer como un drill, quiere practicarlo, somebody else wants to practice or you have any question? No, si no veamos un ejemplo, let's watch an example. I want to see an example between Mercy and Carla Merino. Why don't we, it's going to be interesting. Eh, take a message. Carla, you want to be a secretary or the caller? Um, I, will, I will be a secretary. Sí, el día de mañana ustedes serán secretaries, right? Ustedes tomarán el mensaje, ok. So okay. Carla will be a secretary. Uh, Miss Mercy, you are the caller, ok. Get ready. 
Get okay, ready. Teacher. Lista para tomar notas ahí, Carla, for the message. Um, action. Um, good evening, Mercy. Good evening. Eh, no, Carl. no. ¿Cómo sabía que ella la estaba llamando? Es un foco. Es un cellphone. Ah, es que tiene color identifier, ¿verdad? Tiene. No. Es... Okay. Carla, tú estás en la empresa. You are the receptionist. Ok, ok. Ok, teacher. I... No problem. Well, we are... okay. Let's Again. start over. Let's start over. Qué bueno, porque así ya mañana ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Right? <risa> yes. Let's go. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. May I have your name? No, wait, wait, wait. ¿Quién era el oh. secretary? <risa> Me. <risa> yes, Carla answers the phone, Mercy. Eh, Carla yes. le va a responder. Yeah. Okay, okay. ok, 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 ok. Entonces, Carla, tú tienes que dar un saludo como um, Your favorite chicken industries. Good morning, <laughs> right? And then Mercy goes like, hi, may I speak to, uh, I don't know. Ready? Okay. Don't okay. get nervous, Ready. don't get nervous. Let's go. Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Answer Carla uh, Ring <laughs> Good evening in support uh, Good evening uh, I need to Excuse me I need to speak with the teacher Caleb Is mm. here uh, No Teacher called no is ring. Ah, uh, okay. I I can take a message, please. Yes, of course. Uh, I give you your message. May I have I your name? To... Oh, okay. Uh, I am Mercy. Okay, Mercy. Um, uh, what is your message? You mentioned. I I need to. To talk uh, about her, his, his, uh, because I have a problem with my exam. Okay, great. Can you, uh, may I have uh, your uh, phone number? Oh, okay, uh, is seven, seven? Yes. Yeah. Six, four? Yes. Yeah. Uh, zero, zero, yes. zero, zero, one, seven. One, seven. Okay, Mercy, I spelled your name, M-E-R-C-A, and your number, your cell phone number is seven, seven, six, four, zero, zero, one, seven. Is okay? Yes. It's okay, thank you. I with uh with uh I speak in this moment. Excuse me. When oh, I speak, no, in... the teacher Khaled, no, no, I think... no. Excuse me, your name. Ah, uh, my name Who? is Carla Merino. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, Carla. Good, good evening. Okay, you're welcome, Mercy. Bye. Okay, okay. Bye. Uh, pretty much, pretty much cumplen, pero solo hubo una observación ahí. Um, quien tenía que decir que okay. night take a message era Carla, right? Entonces, eh, Mercy, usted dio el mensaje, usted deja el mensaje. Ojo, deja el mensaje. Si usted eh, quiere hacer esa pregunta proactivamente, entonces como usted es quien va a dar el mensaje, usted tendría que decir leave, ¿ok? Can I leave? Can a I message? leave a message? Ajá. Si ustedes ah, ven okay. que la compañera no dijo la pregunta o pueden adelantarse también, pueden hacerlo. Um, can I leave a message? No más ella le diga. Otra cosa, Carlita, no capté cuando tú le dijiste que él no está. 
estaba. Esa parte no me quedó clara. Entonces, ahí claramente... I, I said, teacher Khaled is not in. Is not in, correcto. He's not in. No necesita I repetir said, el nombre. I, I solo. said that. You said that. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ah, Clear. Okay. Clear, ok. Yes. Quiere decir que no, que hubo alguna interferencia ahí. Ok, entonces estamos bien. Entonces recuerden, si es él, he's not in. Si es ella, she's not in. Y después viene la, la oferta, ofrece servicio. Can I take a message? Ok. Um, quiero ver en la parte del nombre, Mercy. Ojo, eh, Carlita se lo dijo diferente, ¿verdad que sí, Carla? O también oí mal ahí. I forgot, no, eh, I forgot uh, the letter, M -M. because she na her name is Mercy, M-E-R-C-Y, yes, ¿verdad? I, I forgot. Y Mercy le dijo que estaba bien, imagínese Mercy que era un cheque de two million dollars, oh my god, it's, just, it's very important, it's very important, vaya, I, tiene que haber spelling. <laughs> You? Yes. Yeah, but tomorrow I will be better. I know, I know. Por eso yes. les quería dar como que el picture así para que mañana nos vayamos de fluido, ¿verdad? Ya saben lo, a lo que van a estar ustedes esperando. Uh, me, me gustó mucho eh, que Carla al final hizo como un recap. No sé si se fijaron. Bueno, en la conversación hay una parte donde... Eh, dan el spelling, pero, y, y abajo lo del número, pero ella al final hizo como un recap, y le dijo, I'm spelling your name, y le deletró el nombre, que es donde hay que poner atención, y también le dio el número de teléfono, right? Y Carla le dijo al final, is correct? Is this, is this okay? Para confirmar, eso me gustó mucho, right? Entonces ahí como que Carla se, se lava las manos y dice, bueno, verdad, si hubo error, ya, ya confirmé. Entonces, Good job, take it into account. Um, no nos queda más tiempo para hacer más, pero mañana, guys, tomorrow we have the final day. You are the characters. The teacher, mm -mm, the teacher, teacher is not important. And the girls will be only, the girls will be secretary tomorrow or will be a uh, caller. You will be a secretary. Each of you will be a secretary. So it's two okay. role plays, remember? It's two role plays. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the first role play, in the first role play is you make a plan. Yeah? You make a plan. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in the second role play, you take a message. Get ready. Practice your English for the final day. Good night, okay. everyone. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Pleasure. Let's see you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everyone.